I was almost about to leave. And thank God I rolled around this humongous lot because, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, we are seeing. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We are at a new location, Toyota of Turnersville, down in Western Jersey. I should say Southwestern Jersey, near Philadelphia. We're probably within 15 minutes of Philly. Look, they got a charging station here. I don't think I've ever seen that in a Toyota dealership. That's pretty cool. Big dealership lot. Um, that is a few different brands, as you can see. But there are some Tundras, so I figured we would walk it today and see what's going on with Turnersville Toyota. A beautiful dealership, a beautiful area. So we'll start perfectly with a magnetic gray platinum. I don't know yet if it's 2023 or 2024. It does not have the TRD off-road package, which would be the way we would know right away it was 2024. But come on, we all know the specs at this point about the Platinum. We have the premium auto leveling headlights up front, dark chrome. Everything is soaking wet, so it looks flat, which looks kind of cool. Got those 20-inch dark chrome wheels. A nice roadworthy tire that could still do the job. <clears throat> it says Platinum down on the side of the door. Let's see the model year of this thing. 2024. So this is a brand new one. Got some options and some price for you here and a markup sticker. Clear it all for you. All right, so power running boards and power bed step 1350. It has the 10 inch heads up display 600, which for 2024 is now a standalone option. All weather floor liners, tail gate insert, $89 and $155 for a stainless steel door edge guard, 68,998. They want 72,523, that is why. Just so you guys want to pause the video and see that but it obviously has everything it's loaded to the gills when we talk about the platinum and once again you can get this with the trd off-road package now so it's a great way to start on our walk here and i want to show you the front of the building and then we will turn around and it looks like there's quite a few tundras to film which is always a good sign Beautiful, gigantic dealership. And it's funny because the more we travel around, the more of these great views we see with these great dealerships, beautiful lots, and a lot of vehicles. And we're coming out of like two or three years now with no vehicles anywhere. So it's good to see Tundra's back on the lot. And let's see what we got over here where there is quite a few of them. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll drive around to see if there's any other ones because the lot is gigantic. So all the brands are attached in this one giant lot. So I don't want to miss any. So we have a TRD Sport, Crew Max, Midnight Black Metallic. It looks really cool with all of the moisture on it. It looks like it's flat black. So if you want to wrap a truck, it's going to look good if you go that direction. Uh, you have the Toyota TRD Grill up front. In this, when it's all blacked out like this, TRD Sport, you got to black out that badge too. 20 inch unique TRD wheels. Let's see what year it is. Blacked out badging. Bilstein suspension with a one inch drop in the front, 2024. So that's good. We're seeing a lot of 2024s. 62987 is total. They want 66512. And here's what's on it advanced technology package, premium audio package, PVM BSM outer mirrors. TRD Sport Premium Package, heated leather steering wheel, bed step, floor liners. This thing has everything. Running boards. So this is one of the ones we see every once in a while that we say is truly loaded up. Beautiful truck. It has the composite bed. It has the bed lights and the outlet. I can't really show you the inside because, well, it's soaking wet, as you can see. Sun just came up about 20 minutes ago, but we see a TRD Sport everywhere we go. And I always like how nowadays, because there's inventory, you're actually seeing a TRD Sport that has, or a few TRD Sports that have a few different options. So this one's completely loaded up. But at the other dealership we go to all the time by my house, there's ones that have very limited stuff like fabric interior and the eight inch screen. So it gives you a choice and a choice is always good. It's unfortunate we don't see more of these on the dealership lots around me. Every once in a while we do. Capstone, iForce Max, absolutely beautiful. Midnight Black Metallic once again. To be honest with you, I could be wrong here, 
I don't know if I've ever seen a Midnight Black Metallic capstone yet. This might be a first for me. And it looks really good with all the accenting on it, of course. 22-inch wheels. Got a unique grille. Black and chrome, which looks really cool. It's obviously iForce Max. Okay, so this is one of those Tundras that you can only get one way. iForce Max, Crew Max, 5.5 foot bed, 4x4. It's the only way you can get it. If you can see in there, it has that unique semi-aniline interior. Um, you know, 14-inch screen, JBL sound system, pano roof. Everything is completely standard on this. I believe the only thing you can add to it is the ABS suspension, which this one does not have it. This doesn't have anything crazy on it. Price of this one, 80218 They want 85 814 Sorry, it's very tight next to this truck. And this is a 2023. So there's an opportunity for a deal on this one. This has the spray and bed liner on the back. It has the LED lights and the outlet. Nice looking truck. See the cameras up there? And it has the Tundra inlay that comes standard with capstone, the chrome inlay. Power folding mirrors. Fully loaded. Fully loaded Tundra right there. And a beautiful one at that. Okay. Got a nice little Lunar Taco there, TRD Sport, if you're into that. Probably get a good deal on these with the new ones coming out. Ooh, here's a nice one. Ooh, really nice one here. All right, now I'm happy. Smoke Mesquite, 1794 with the TRD Off-Road Package, regular iForce engine. Got the TRD grill up front. Got the chrome surround and all that going on. Premium headlights. This is one of those trucks where it's kind of like the Platinum. Everything is just standard. The features, JBL sound system, standard. Uh, pano roof, genuine heated ventilated memory seats. This you can get with or without the TRD off-road package. It could come two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, iForce, iForce Max. But with this color and this package, this truck is awesome. You can't see it on camera. I'm looking through the phone here, but it does have the saddle brown interior. What a nice truck. I am a sucker for smoke mesquite. 1794 and TRD off-road package. This is what you're getting with her. This is a 2023. Total is 70,468, and that's what's coming. You got the TRD dual pipe kit. You got the off-road package. There is no premium package because it already has the premium options on the inside. TRD front skid plate, bed step, running boards. Nice setup here. Once again, 70,468. I'm sorry about all the moisture. It's that time of year where every time we walk the lots now, we're going to be dealing with a lot of moisture. Composite bed, LED lights, and the outlet. Just so you know that the outlet is there, it's right there. So we got that. Also, this has the manual bed step, and it has the manual side steps. Because with off-road package, you cannot get um, power. If you don't have TRD off-road, you can get the power steps. All right, so there is probably my favorite so far. Got to be honest, Smoke Mesquite is the way. 1794 is the way. Off-road package is the way. And let's not forget, we just saw the release of what's about to come out, the limited edition 1794, which there's only going to be 1,500 made. But listen, if you can't get a hold on that, that has the special Saddleback Leather Company stuff on the inside. It has a nice exterior, TRD Pro suspension. This will do just fine. So don't sneeze at that. I would still buy that. Okay, got another TRD off-road down here. Another 1794 Midnight Black Metallic. What's cool about this is they put a pinstripe on it. And I'm not a huge pinstripe guy, but they actually put a pinstripe of the coloring of the inside of the truck. It's on this one too. It looks really good. It's kind of unique. So what do you think about this one? And I like, I want to show you this because I've seen this now for the second time. See how it says Tundra on the bottom in chrome? Well, there's a little inlay deal you could get, and it says Tundra in black. And I feel like, I want to hear what you guys think. I think that changes the front end really nice. With all of the chrome on the 1794, that little bit there makes all the difference. I know it's small, but it just gives it a little breakup of all the chrome. 360 bird's eye camera. You can see the cameras all on the truck. Uh, power folding mirrors. I mean, we just, this is probably going to be set up the same way as the other one. And this is getting tight. Uh. Yeah, this doesn't have much on it. TRD off-road package. Has the heads-up display. Oh, this is 2024. 
as soon as I see that, I know 2024. So this is our first 2024 1794 we've seen. 72061 they want. 75586. Cool. 2024s are really hitting a lot now. Nice truck. Beautiful. Midnight black metallic. It almost looks like it's a different shade when it's so wet and nasty like it is right now. But So as I was saying before, every time we walk these trucks now, going into the cold season, this is what we're going to see. In the summer, there's not a drop on them, but the minute it starts to get a little chilly at night, this is what you get. All right, ladies and gentlemen, making our way down. We were blessed to see one capstone. Guess what? Here's number two. Another one. Midnight Black Metallic. Really like, I, I really like the capstone. I know a lot of you don't. It's a high-end model that has a ton of chrome on it, but I like the flow, especially with a color like black. I don't really like it in white. Um, I don't know, black with chrome is meant to be. And I feel the same way when it comes to things like the 1794 edition. It's a great looking truck, great looking package, unique grill, unique wheels, 22 inch wheels. It's the biggest Toyota Tundra wheel you can get. iForce Max, unique interior. Um, big fan of it. Someone said the other day and it made me laugh, but I totally agree. The 1794 limited edition that just came out, they said it's like a capstone but for 1794. It's like a capstone edition for 1794. I totally agree because it's a unique interior, unique exterior features. I agree with that. But, you know, the capstone, this is what Toyota wants to be the flagship of the Tundra line, where, in my opinion, the flagship should be 1794 because of the meaning behind it. But, hey, we can fight about that another day. But this is a beautiful truck, and it is the Denali of Tundra, the big engine, all the features you could possibly get on the thing, and it looks good. If you like this type of thing, but if you don't, there's TRD off-road package, there's TRD sport packages. There's all these different options, but this thing is unique in its own way, and it's top of the line. So if you're into the luxury and you still want a pickup truck to do the job with the bed, the big engine, this thing's meant to tow, power, this is for you. Check it out. Let's look at the, the price. We've already seen one. Oh, real quick, I say this all the time, but for the noobs, if it has a blue outline, it's a hybrid. It's the little things. And then you look like a boss when you go to the dealership and start showing other people who don't know Toyota these little things that you learn here. Not a lot on it because everything is right here. 80,423. They want 85,389. Again, if you want to see why, there is the reason. Usually, It's the same stuff that's in every dealership pretty much. So this has the spray-on liner. And if it has the spray-on liner and you want to know if it's from Toyota or if they did it locally, you know by that. That means it's from the factory. Got the red lights. They got a big curb back here. Beautiful truck, inlay, 4x4. Four four. Once again, you could only get it one way. And when I say one way, it's not a head shaker. Oh, I wish I could get more options because the thing's loaded up. The only thing I wish they did with Capstone is I wish they came with an option that you could get a six and a half a bed on it. That would be nice for everyone involved. The highest you could get, highest trim you could get for a six and a half foot bed is Platinum and 1794, which are sister trims. All right, how about this one? This looks to be a six and a half foot bed limited. Every time I go to the dealership, every single time I go, I see these days a six and a half foot bed limited. This one's midnight black metallic. It has a good look to it. This is not TRD, as you can tell from the grill up front, but they blacked out the badge, which is awesome. It's regular I-Force. Big capable truck here, blacked out badging. This has the bed step on it. This is a manual bed step. And it has those cool TRD running boards. That there is a nice looking truck. Beautiful. Bed lights, Tundra, spray and bed liner. <clears throat> Total, 61026. And here is why. Limited power package. That gives you the smart charge and the bed accessories like LED bed lights and the outlet. Black emblem overlay. Spray on bed liner. Your normal stuff. This is a 2023. 61026 and there is no markup sticker on it at all. So I don't know if that means, hey, no markup on this one only. Or the sticker just never made it. So that's a beautiful truck. So, so far, limited, beautiful, capstone. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wow you. There's two really nice 1794s here. We went over that. 
But I got to be honest with you. I think my favorite is the black capstone. Don't be mad. It's just the way it is. But a nice lineup of Tundras. 1794s with TRDs. I'm always happy with. Quite a few 2024s here, which is awesome. So which one are you taking home? My famous question at the end of all these videos. Which one are you taking home? The loaded up TRD Sport. Capstone City times two. 1794 times two. Or that limited long bed all the way down let me know what you think in the comments below a really nice selection i almost forgot there's also that platinum up there 2024 so that makes it a little bit harder because i have a sore spot in my heart for the platinum and it doesn't even need to be trd off-road platinum i kind of just like the standard model too so let me know which one you're taking home i was almost about to leave and thank god i rolled around this humongous lot because ladies and gentlemen for the first time we are seeing 2024 limited with the three inch toyota lift trd off-road package it has the three fins on top that's new for 2024 crew max with the six and a half foot bed and this is the first time we're seeing the trd lift lunar rock this thing is sexy i did not know this was here if i did i probably would have beelined right to it we're going to do a big circle around this one going in the grass for this TRD grill up front because it's limited. Now, let's talk about limited. I'm going to do a video on a lot of the changes to it. It's a lot of cosmetic stuff, but since it's sitting in front of me, here's some things you need to know about your 2024 limited with the TRD off-road package. They got rid of all the weird chrome that was on it. So when you go TRD off-road, body color up front, black rear bumper, body color handles on it. It body colors everything. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, and that badge in the front is blacked out. TRD grill. There's the big three-inch lift. Even everything out. If you buy this truck, and I can tell you, I don't know how good the camera is going to show you. I think it'll show you pretty good. You're going to want to put a bigger tire on there. And then it's going to look absolutely perfect. We just saw Joe's Platinum Lunar TRD Off-Road. This is a limited, but it has the lift. And it is absolutely perfect. Just need to put a bigger tire on it. I love it. I'm scared to see the sticker. Oh, by the way, it also blacks out the badging when you get TRD off-road for 2024. It didn't do that for 2023 unless the dealer did it. The only blacked out badging that came automatically with TRD off-road was SR5 last year. Wow, that is so nice looking. The three inch lift on it gives it a completely dynamic, like a different dynamic as far as look. With the big six and a half a bed and that three inch lift, it almost looks like a 2500. It looks good. I'm jealous of this truck. Lunar, spray and bed liner. It doesn't have the lights or the outlet. That is a mind blower. But you see, you got the three shark fins up top. Awesome. Oh, God, that is awesome. You're not going to be able to see on the inside, but you got the big 14 inch green soft text. I don't know how, how good we can see in there. You could kind of see. It's your standard limited on the inside. There's still wraps. This thing probably just came in. I don't remember seeing this on the dealership website. But that is just an insanely nice truck with the big lift in front. Oh, God, I'm in heaven. My wife's going to kill me if I buy another truck. TRD off-road. This is the black rear bumper. Oh, they've done so good. This truck is going to look so good with a bigger tire on it. Oh, jealous. Jealous. Thank you, Toyota of Turnersville, for having something so neat to see. So 2024, we already know that. Lunar Rock, black interior. Here's everything that's on it. Started at 57, 235, JBL 12 speaker, including subwoofer and amplifier. This has the 3-inch lift kit for four grand. Limited premium package. TRD off-road package, 3580. All weather floor liners, Wi-Fi trailer camera. That is what the three shark fins are for. That's new for 2024 on Tundra. Tailgate insert black 89 and $600 for the liner. 69.337. They want 72.862. So would you pay 69 for this thing? I don't need a six and a half a bed on a crew max. I got a six and a half a bed on that. But this is just, it's just about the look on this one. Capability plus look. This is exactly what I said about Joe's truck the other day, the Platinum. 
it has all of the things on it that you could ever want or need. Oh, I'm, I'm blown away. See the camera up front under the blacked out Toyota badge? Just, that's, that's insane. That is insane. I'm so glad I saw this. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this one. Instead of Toyota of Turnersville, I'm just going to call it Toyota of Heaven. Because, ladies and gentlemen, RCSB Tundra, rarely, if any time, do I see these on the lot. This is my dream Tundra. Now, this one here looks to be a 4-liter V6. Uh, it doesn't look to have the big 5.7 or even the 4.7 or 4.6, depending on the year. But I love this body style. Two to three seater, depending on what's on the inside, if it has the bucket seat and floor mounted shifter or not, which being this is the V6, I don't think it will, but I had to stop and film this. So much opportunity for this truck. It's perfect if you don't need anything crazy as far as, uh, you know, the second seats or anything. There's a little space behind the driver's seat. Let's see if it's four by four. I would think in the area it is. It doesn't say four by four. And it looks like, you know, probably like an 07. So it has some use on it. Uh, there's still actual plates on it, so I don't think it's for sale. But let me tell you what, I'm obsessed with these trucks. And with the right package, these things were nasty. You could get this with the 5.7 V8 TRD off-road package and the TRD supercharger. And it was blowing doors off on drag strips everywhere. But there's just something about the RCSB Tundra I absolutely love. Six and a half foot bed on a regular cab. Must have, and they should bring it back. This is such a great dealership to be at and there are so many different tundras but this thing has my heart